What's up guys? Welcome to my video. Um, this painting video, I will be talking about a uh, makeover of an old painting that I did a while back. So this painting that I did a while back, this is a Chicago Skyline painting I did back in uh, January of 2019. So about a year ago, I did this painting. And uh, originally when I did this painting, I, I actually think I painted it pretty fast, like a little bit way too fast than I should have. And so what ended up happening was that it just didn't turn out that good and uh, a lot of the colors ended up being really bland and uh, the detail wasn't as refined. So I don't know if you're able to see that, but like to the trained eye, you can see that this painting has a lot of like um, bland colors that don't really um, stand out that much, not that many vivid colors. I mean, I try to go for um, semi-realism semi here. I, I didn't really go for the the precise matching from the photograph that I got for the Chicago skyline but um, I kind of wanted to go for the impressionistic feel to it so that way the colors and the, the contrast and the light stand out more than anything else really and, but I guess the execution of it fell apart altogether because it didn't turn out that that vivid bright colors that I wanted it to be and so um, I decided to go back to it today and give it a complete makeover just to make it look better brighter more vivid and more colorful and so um, you can see that I'm starting off adding some more of the lights on there some more refined details on the lights and the buildings and stuff and so I added more colors too, the more of the, the colors to the lights and you can see the middle ground in those those browner buildings in the middle I added more of the contrast down there because what I failed to do in the original painting was that I failed to add the uh, the lighter colors, the the bright lights that illuminate the buildings from the bottom of them, from the, from their bases. So what I'm what I'm adding on here is just more of the the bright colors, the brighter yellows, browns, a little bit of red and orange on there to add more of the the vivid colors on there, which I actually intended to do in the first place, but Somehow I uh, I failed to execute it because I I pretty much just rushed through the painting in the beginning altogether. So so guys, never rush your paintings. Don't be in a hurry. Always paint when you're inspired, and don't try to rush anything because it's gonna turn out really mediocre and people are not gonna like it. Nobody's gonna want to buy it. So anyways, over here I'm adding some contrast, some colors, and that's the way I paint. Like I don't focus on one thing i'm i'm all over the place it's like i got this painting adhd i'm just all over the place i i add stuff i do some colors some contrast here and there and that's what i'm doing over here so after if you guys watch my other videos you kind of see you kind of tell that by now that i'm all over the place with my paintings i don't really stick with one point for too long because that way it gets I guess it gets kind of boring after a while if I stick with one thing. So I jump all over the place with the paintings and it keeps me interested in adding more detail on it because my mind just thinks really quickly and it's really agile. And I keep wanting to add different things here and there. When I see something, I want to add more stuff to it. And so um, right now I'm adding more color in the middle in that horizon line. By the, by the coastal area, I'm adding more color on there. And so now I'm moving on to the sky. The sky part is actually my least favorite part because I really, really did a mediocre job on that one, in my opinion. I really uh, rushed through that one. And the way that I painted it originally was that, as you can see, the colors are pretty bland and not that well mixed together. I did a really uh, rushed job on that. And what I'm doing right now is I'm re-establishing the baseline for the cloud colors which is going to be white a little bit of off white some yellow on there mixed in and i'm adding on the white paint on there to the bases of the colors of the clouds because the the clouds are going to reflect the sunset and i'm adding the whites on there the the yellows on there to begin with and when i paint the clouds i stack the colors on top of each other what i do is i add the base color of the clouds to begin with the the brightest so the white in this case and i'll be adding the uh, the darker colors afterwards and so i'm also 
darkening up the sky in the top left corner as you can see because that's the furthest part away from the sunset. The sunset's going to be in the bottom right part of the painting. If you could kind of tell with that, which I'm going to work on enhancing as well in this uh, painting makeover. But I'm over here just adding more of the, the darker blues and blending it in with the rest of the, the sky colors on there. And so now you see that I'm adding the darker backs of the clouds, the, the shadows of the clouds. And I'm going to be using a, a, a mixture of various colors. Um, it doesn't matter the specific colors, but I'm using the, some reds, some blues, and uh, a little bit of browns too. So I'm, I'm mixing them on the canvas because, like I said before, my um, intention with this painting is to make it a, um, a semi-realistic painting with some impressionistic types of um, atmosphere in it. So I'm going to be adding a lot of uh, um, colorful effects with uh, contrast and so um, all over the place. I'm adding a second layer of yellows and oranges onto the, the back of this, the background sky, the yellow as um, I'm mixing it together and over here I'm enhancing the reflections in the bottom of the of the water the water um, I think it was the best part of the painting was the water but still there's always room for improvement so I'm adding more of the reflections on there I'm making it brighter more vivid and um, what I did, what I'm going to do to, to mix it together properly is that I'm, I'm kind of painting some stripes on the bottom, some vertical stripes. So that way, um, when I paint the colors down there, when I paint the darks and lights next to each other, I would um, mix them together side by side just a little bit to create that ripple effect with, the, with those uh, partial waves in the water. And... Um, I'm making sure that I don't blend it too much because I want to keep that contrast with the colors and the with the brights and the darks in the water. I want to be able to retain that contrast in there because I want to retain that impressionistic type of quality to the, this painting. And so, yeah, I'll be, I'll be jumping back and forth between going to the water and to the sky. And, I mean, the, with this whole semi-realism i'm not focusing too much on the price precise detail on the painting because it's not the intention of the painting the, the, the intention of this painting is to have like this aesthetic image with uh, good design elements with the balance of uh, the contrast the colors and and uh, the use of the the principles of good design like the use of thirds if you know what that means, if you don't know what that means, it means that like one third of the, the painting is split up into um, the the bottom of the, of the painting with the water. And then uh, the middle third is the skyline and the top third is the sky. So this is like a prime example of what using thirds indicates. And that's one of the good design elements is the usage of thirds. So I'm over here now painting the background with the, the oranges, the, it's a little bit of purple, and I'm gonna be trying to blend that in with the, the rest of the sky. So it's gonna be a lot of blending in it. So the top part with the sky, it's gonna be a lot of blending, a lot of layering. And um, the middle part with the skyline, I just do a lot of contrast with the light and stuff. and. I make sure that the paint's dry beforehand where I added the lights on there. And so now I'm stacking the, the colors, mixing the sky colors with the clouds so that way the, the clouds dissipate into the background. And so I don't know if you can see it from here, but I stacked the, those different colors on top of the clouds to enhance them, to give it more weight, more depth. And um, I am now getting close to finishing it, finishing this quick enhancement of the painting. This really isn't one of my best paintings, but this is just something I kind of thought in the spur of the moment where I wanted to go back and enhance my, my painting, make it even better. And I think I might start doing a series about that stuff. I might start doing a series of 
doing makeovers on some of my old paintings and seeing if anybody's interested in me doing makeovers or, or just enhancements on some of their paintings because I think, I think that's a really cool idea because I mean there's always room for improvement and sometimes when I go back to my old paintings I can see the flaws in them and I want to go back and make them better even the ones that I sold in the past I, I actually want to go back and make them better because I, I learn something new every single time I, I paint something and um, over here I'm finalizing the horizon line just make it look better and I use a ruler to make sure it's it's somewhat accurate that it's well balanced so um, that is pretty much it for my painting and this is my um, little project that I did so if you guys like it make sure to leave the comment below as always I could always use some constructive feedback and click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned to my other videos thank you